Hi guys, welcome back to Miss Mavic. Today's topic is melanoma. Melanoma or skin cancer is a diagnosis that the public is frequently warned about. We are advised against using sunbeds, we are told to use sun protection on hot days, and we are told to regularly check our skin for any new changes to moles or new moles appearing. This is to prevent the progression of skin cancer and in medical terms this skin cancer we are warned about is called melanoma. Melanoma is caused by the uncontrolled growth of pigment cells or melanocytes and these melanocytes are normally located in the epidermis or outer layer of the skin. They produce melanin and protect our skin by absorbing UV light. But of course, uncontrolled growth of pigment cells or melanocytes is very dangerous. Melanomas can be confined to the epidermis and these are referred to melanomas in situ. Invasive melanoma means that the cancer has spread into the dermis which is located below the epidermis. When this happens, the lesion on the skin will become raised, whereas when the lesion was just confined to the epidermis, it is likely to have been flat. Once the melanoma has reached the dermis, it may spread to other tissues via the lymphatic system or through the blood and this is when it can cause metastatic disease. The best prognostic factor for melanomas is breast low depth and this depends on how deep the melanoma is. So if the melanoma is just confined to the epidermis this is a good sign but if it has gone into the dermis and further it is very harmful and the breast low depth is measured vertically in millimetres. So who gets melanomas? Well there are certain risk factors that cause uh, the cancer to develop or uh, things that are more likely in people who have developed the cancer. So people who get melanomas tend to have fair complexion, multiple moles, previous basal or squamous cell carcinoma and previous invasive mel melanoma in situ. So these are all risk factors for the condition. You don't have to have this, these features to have the condition or you could have these features and not develop the condition. But these features predispose and make it more likely for a person to develop melanoma. Melanoma can occur in normal skin or arise from a normal mole. And when assessing melanoma, you should use the ABCDE assessment. And this is very important. So the A stands for asymmetry. And you're looking for a mole that is not symmetrical. B, you're looking at the border. Is the border irregular? C, colour variation. Is there multiple different colours in the mole? Is it black with dots of brown? This is a bad sign. D. Diameter greater than 6 millimetres. If the diameter is greater than 6 millimetres it is a worrying sign and if you find this hard to visualise just think of a lesion that cannot be covered by the end of a pencil. E is evolving, that means it's changing, the mole used to be smaller, it used to be a different colour. This is a very worrying sign. Another way to assess melanomas is the seven point scale and these, this includes three major signs which are change in colour, change in shape and change in size and four minor signs which are change in sensation, oozing, inflammation and a diameter around 7 millimetres. You should 
refer to dermatology within two weeks if a patient has two features on the ABCDE scale or three on the seven point scale or if you are very concerned or feel that it's very likely that this patient has melanoma. That is for a GP to refer on within two weeks to dermatology. There are different types of melanomas. We have the nodular melanoma which is um, quite detrimental in that it grows very fast. It has a very fast growth rate compared to other melanomas. Superficial spreading melanoma will grow more slowly and it is the most common type. Acryl melanoma occurs on palms and soles and it can also occur under the nail and it is the most common melanoma in non-white patients and you should refer quickly within two weeks to dermatology if the patient has Hutchinson's sign and this is when there's a dark line from the nail bed to the nail fold and this is acryl melanoma and that is worrying when they present with that sign. Lentigo melanoma is usually on exposed sites of elderly patients and occurs in sun damaged skin. So what is the treatment or next point after you've diagnosed the melanoma? Well if you are a GP you refer on to dermatology and if you think it's very likely melanoma you refer as a red flag and dermatology will see the patient within two weeks and dermatology will perform a full examination of the skin documenting all moles with the, ma with the naked eye and also with dermoscopy. The treatment of melanoma can take different forms but you want to excise the melanoma and you need to leave a margin of normal skin and then this will be analysed by pathology they will work out breast low depth and other features of the melanoma. Other treatments of melanoma include immunotherapy and other drug therapies. Thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like the video and more dermatology videos will be uploaded soon. So please do check these out.